Britain is right now waking up to the horror of a terror attack. Dozens were children. Studying conflict and terrorism at the moment is incredibly important. The world is going through a period of turmoil that's on a par with some of the most violent and unstable periods since World War II. We're seeing a number of civil wars in various regions around the world. Terrorism in the West and of course in, in many other places in Asia and, and the Middle East. Master of Conflict and Terrorism Studies is, is very unique, I think, mainly because of its multidisciplinary nature. We have experts from politics and international relations, of course, focused on radicalisation and terrorism. We have experts from media and communications, so looking at the online space. We have experts from criminology, so looking at crime in wider society. All of these different perspectives bring together a really holistic picture of this question of conflict and, and terrorism as, as we see it now. Weapons terrorism is very much a multifaceted phenomenon. Korea. So bringing in all these different perspectives and political systems and, and so on, I think really gives it a, a unique position in the world to provide skills and training to students in this field. Master of Conflict and Terrorism Studies really opens the door to a number of different career options. One possibility would be to go and work for government in a policy advisor role or for a big international organisation like the World Bank or the IMF or the United Nations. Another opportunity would be to work for a humanitarian organisation, so one of the aid agencies that are working in war zones trying to protect those who are most affected by war. So some of the skills that they learn in terms of their presentation, in terms of their writing and their critical thinking really helps open doors into uh, industry as well. The Master of Conflict and Terrorism Studies particularly appealed to me because uh, it's obviously a very happening thing at the moment and you read about it a lot in the media and this is a way to understand it. Right now there are just so many things happening in the world and I really wanted to understand that from a different perspective than I would get from just the media. And what the country's Prime Minister says appears to be... Terrorism. Terror. Terrorism. Terrorist Act.